Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. In the end of the last episode I was trying to get into the Twilight Portal and I was having difficulty mainly because I didn't read the quest properly. Let's have a look at that. I am, seem to be having difficulty between the word Fluix and Flux. So this is obviously it was other worlds and here is the thing here and it says you need to a flux crystal a flux crystal <laughs> jump in the water <laughs> it's not a fluix as i was thinking and you get an xp and some chests the xp no really any value these days but the other bit is maybe possibly and what have we got to do we've got to discover it and then get a blank a magic blank map to complete this quest so that was a uh, very cool. So actually, how I found it, I looked at the configuration file and it, and it said redstone arsenal material. So I was going, oh, that is uh, not what I was expecting to see. So if you press, um, have a look at redstone arsenal material, <laughs> and you come up with. I should probably put it to get rid of this, isn't it? And try again. I probably have to use at, and then material. So these are all the materials it's got. I didn't. I did try to use an electrum flux. You'll see underneath it says redstone arsenal material. I did try to use these two in the in the thing and it didn't work. So it just had to be a flux crystal in the portal. So we'll come to that next. I think after we get finish off this bit, I want to do next. So a tip. Actually, I've got a couple of tips. So let's have a look at the first. Let's have a look at the first tip first of all. So if I come here and have a look at this, this is from the Neil Wiz 01 UK. And he says you can control click items into here. And I never knew that. So if I hold down the control button and click it, you see it moves a single item at a time. So it's just really nice. I didn't realise you could do that. It's a bit like the mouse the mask wheel is supposed to scroll, it doesn't work very reliably. It sort of works, but it's not as reliable as it used to be. But the control clicking works just fine so that's good to know thank you very much for that tip um and bob the big bat gave me a tip about how to there's a bug in the current versions better questing mod so if we press f4 and we go back you'll see that this one's actually been completed overworld completed because we've actually completed that one and i can claim it i could claim reward again but it's not much just XP, I think. It doesn't really matter much about that one. But if you go back and have a look at the other ones, all the quests have now been completed. And what you have to do, and it's a bit complicated, you have to basically, when you've upgraded, uh, you need to keep a backup of the world. And in the world, you've got a file that says, um, what's it called? It's called conf Better Questing as a, as a subdirectory, so you take that directory and you copy it across into your new world and you replace the better questing jar file with the version 250 and you don't get all of that highlighted stuff you see there's a few of these which have, I've completed since I did the last thing so I'll have to just claim those are probably the easiest way the base and upgrade we did that one as well uh, there's a couple more I haven't done, actually I could do fueled up, that's pretty straightforward getting fueled, haven't touched it, that's all done as it was this one here, I don't understand this. I haven't done a soul cage. Well, it says I haven't done it. It says it's incomplete. So how is it telling me it's complete? I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have a look at that. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Actually, this one I would like to do. A redstone remote. Let's just let's just do that one because we've completed the next quest after that anyway. Uh, control F actually is good. this thing it's actually fairly straightforward it's redstone activator so we need three of these so we need some torch so can you do 50 we only need three like that and then we need these things and we can't do enough because I haven't got enough iron I guess for yeah exactly let's take another block of iron in fact probably good if I did three blocks of iron wouldn't it and then we're right, try that again. A recipe for that one's that. And then finally we just need to do this. So all we need is a stable ender pearl, which we should be able to do easily enough. 
and we can then complete this one I think and actually these are really useful these redstone remotes so you can basically turn things off and on at an angle I think uh, at a distance like a remote control so let's go back to that quest now F4 we're playing that one done it and then of course we've already completed the end of tether so we'll claim that one and done it I just before I do that actually let me just check how oh, I've got just about enough space in here <laughs> let's claim that one I'm done so there's actually not too much on this one that's been completed extra additions well we did these two I think I claimed the rewards but what about but first of all I better open up some of these quests these loot chests 16 fertile potion potion causes things to grow I believe is that what it says where am I putting that in here good next one yes I've got my fluids crystal ready for the flux crystal ready for the other one <laughs> see I'm still oh that's what's happening okay it's going on top sick 10 gravel wow what an award what a reward can't complain about that one at all next one oh some medikits I'm not using these medikits at all I'm sure they're very useful in fact I think that's how many that's in there three I'm not sure exactly next one hopefully I don't get any more medikits otherwise that thing gets filled up oh some gravel and some cobbled soul stone <laughs> well that's actually four times better than the other one because I only got ten gravel in the previous one but this time we got a lot more and a soul stone should be here let's put it in there no that's soul stone not soul cobblestone I think that's in here it is look another chest and some water stone I'm not sure I've got that oh it isn't it's in here so good so we actually got that one now almost completely full that chest any more no let's just go and go, let's go and complete these last two last two quests escape so we we've done the chicken ring because I would basically I'd rec I would did a bit of work between episodes so you can see what they want between episodes in the episodes uh, so those done other worlds that's all up to date we should complete one of those today and I completed these two here so let's claim these look just back in fact I did complete those off camera there's nothing complicated about them just straightforward quests industrials all done environmental I would like to do that one because that's an amazing piece of stuff there applied we did finish fluix so we've got all of those things so let's just claim that one back and then my mystical world, magical worlds I haven't done this one yet I will have to do it and yes of course the tier 5 seeds which we have done completed overpowered well you can see this is actually looks like a good one so we could do fusion crafting I would like to do some fusion crafting so we need a fuse, fusion crafting core we won't do that this episode we'll do that in another episode let's have a look what we've got in here some more excellent shelves we just always need these shelves in fact my complete thing is full of shelves now so maybe I put them somewhere else and some sandwiches everybody likes a nice sandwich let's have a look rabbit sandwiches Ah, uh, some mostly. <laughs> well, not too indecent rewards if it was at the beginning of the game, of course. But where am I sticking these things? Oh, actually, I do know it's somewhere not in here. That's the food one. Maybe I can put the rab rabbit sandwich. 36 rabbit sandwiches. Well, I should keep me going for ages. Nope, don't think I've got any more in there. I think I'm keeping them in. No, nope, I'm not keeping them in there. Where am I putting these things? I've got a space for them, I know, and it's maybe one. Well, no, that's full. That's diamond armor. No, can't be any of those. Just that's strange. Tell you what, put them in here for the time being. Probably, uh, to be honest, but I probably should just throw them away. I don't see have any use for them at all at the moment. So let's go around here. And the tree one. Oh well, actually, that's 
I don't know if it's too bad, but I don't need any of them. That's just what we can get rid of in here. Birch trees. So what that's duplicated some trees. Let's get rid of the duplicated trees. Let's just sort that. So I've got some maple saplings and some dead saplings. They're very useful. And we've got 32 jungle saplings. Where we, we've got 64 acacia. That's no big deal. Oh well. Well, I suppose in that case we can throw the rest away. We don't need the rest of those. Let's get to the next chest. Oh! Wow. The more gravel. These are the top rewards you get today, aren't they? Let's have a look at this. Actually, Flux Electron Blend. That wouldn't have been too bad earlier on either. But now, unfortunately, it's has less value. Where am I keeping this one in this one? No. We'll put it in here. Like that. I've actually got some. I've picked up quite a bit of. Well, six aquamarine, not exactly a lot. It does actually allow me to do the first step of producing the book. We need to produce a book for astral sorcery. And the last, the last two loot chest. Some bones and some ribs. Oh, I just had a little cough. So, next thing. Let's get rid of these junk that we've got in here, don't want those three. So I think it's time to go and trundle off and see what we can find out in the twilight forest. Now it does take quite a long time to load this thing up. So I want to go to the overall base. We have to wait a few seconds. That's loading the train, good. I think you've seen everything here, haven't you? So, I like I like the Manilian blocks with dollar signs on them. They're hilarious. <laughs> so, Twilight Forest. I've set it up down at the bottom. In fact, oh, I just got right. Where's it gone to? Hold on a second. I've flown over it. Looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? A UFO has landed in my world. So I set this up here like that. Let's get the let's get the fl flux crystal ready. Gosh, I actually said that one right. So let's chuck it in the water and stand back because it makes lots of fire. Let's put the fire out quickly. Oh, it wasn't so bad this time. Okay, so that's it. Now we jump in and we wait about ten minutes. <laughs> We're skiing off to the twilight forest with a dancing pool. That's really useful. What I didn't make, of course, is I didn't make any. Um, so I think I I didn't make a warp stone. Probably should have made a warp warp stone if I wanted to warp my way in here pretty quick quickly. Oh, I just got a message from Bob the Big Bat. He tells me that the um, the bug with better questing is basically failed to save the values so, so even though I'd gone through every single quest and claimed it again it, they didn't get saved so that's that's why it's reverted to all those green you suppose it's useful if you want to claim the quests again and get all those loot bags sort of cheating <laughs> but maybe not too bad oh, it was, I don't know how long it takes to actually do this but I know it takes quite a long time so whether I should do a little pause oh no just talking about pause and of course yeah, it starts up so no we're not quite ready yet because we've got to wait a bit I think but we're halfway there it's a bit weird I presume it's okay <laughs> Seems a bit white. Tell you what, I'll do a quick break now. Come back when it's we're actually there. Oh, said that, and of course it straight away happens, doesn't it? So let's let's go to our thing and get. Let's make sure we've got some. I think I've got a magnum torch here. Good, that'll do. We'll put this one down first of all. There, we completed the quest dungeon map. And we'll put a mega torch down here too. No, oh, really? It picks up the mushroom, does it? 
So mobs shouldn't spawn in this place, and of course we've got to set press Z to enable this, so we shall call this as portal. A very creative and imaginative name. Let's just set that to bright. I shall like bright green. It's easier to see sometimes. So here we are. And so the first thing we see, of course, is a fortress. We can't get into this fortress until we've done the um, Nardo. Is it the Nardo we have to kill first of all? It's been a long time since I've been to the been into this uh, Twilight Forest, and here we've got another place to go to, where it's absolutely snowing like crazy. And then we should see a little man. Look at these penguins. <laughs> I just suppose you could talk to penguins, can you? No. Now what I'm expecting, it's very difficult to see anything and I'm sure this is really bad for the videos. There's a ram, you can see a purple ram and that's about it. So, and we're also getting some effect, that's all that we've got. Slowness for two seconds, let's get out of the Well, it's not surprising you're slow, is it? Let's keep out of that way for a bit there. It's quite a large area this. So we also got chickens on the roof on the tops of mushrooms, that's funny. Was that a rabbit? <laughs> so this area is quite a large area of snow. Let's see if we can get round it. What have we got there? Forest for hive, okay. Now there is something else I found in this place fairly easily. Oh, this snow's driving me crazy. <laughs> and then we come to these, and I've forgotten what these are. I know they're obsidian with a, a lapis lazuli block on top of it, and I'm sure they've got some purpose, but I can't remember from the life of what it is at the moment probably been about a year or two since I've actually been into Twilight Forest and I'm sure it's changed a bit since then there's plenty of mobs around but you, can't, you just can't see in there so there's not much point in going in there is there really how big is this thing let me come to some of these fountains and that's another that's another fortress we will get into it. You see it's got the yellow bits in there. That pre prevents us. So what else can we see down here? Lots of pumpkins, lots of flowers of various types. Oh, roots. Now I've got a feeling that these roots we can use. Axe, let's get an axe out. I'm not completely certain, but we'll just try or excavating this away. I'll try again. Can I not break these? Oh, I can. That was weird. My goodness, that's really strange. <laughs> Is it only giving me sticks? It looks like it's only giving me sticks. So those definitely, oh, that's a torch brew. Let's take the torch brew. So we'll take that with a um, pair of shears, I think. I need the bucket there. Don't move this around a bit like this. And a pair of shears I should have here somewhere. Hmm. Of course, I can't see them when I'm looking for them. It's typical, isn't it? That's strange, I'm sure I've got a pair of shears. Let's do uh, let's type it in. You see? Right in front of my eyes I can't see them. So with a pair of shears we can simply harvest these. 
And they're actually useful because with with torch bridge you can use those to make torches and you make a lot of torches in one go. Now what else can we see around here that's of any interest? The roots obviously aren't. And the last time I was here, I when I was doing a quick test to find out they actually did work, I found um and it was somewhere around about here. Um a pitcher plant. I don't see any more at the moment. Some squirrels, very sweet. Twilight Forest is quite sweet in a way. But there are lots of nasty mobs in here too, so. I would need to find live wood, that's one of the things we need to find in the Twilight Forest. <laughs> I'm not talking too much at the moment, am I? Ah, here we go. This is some kind of maze, and what do we have in here? Just mobs, huh? What's that, a spider? And I don't suppose putting torches down helps, but we'll have a look. Let's see if we can put some torches. I've got these stupid little ones in here. Let's put those down here, because that's a spider, isn't it? These chests are. I suppose you're not supposed to come into this flying, are you? So, actually, quite useful stuff. Cobwebs. Good for mob traps. Arrows, we did. These feathers are actually quite useful. So, let's just uh, empty out my inventory a bit. If I can, that is. <laughs> Don't need that with me. Not sure about chests. Right, let's have a look at this. Right, some more bits and pieces. Well, there's nothing really exciting in here, is there? Except for the chests themselves. So what else we got in there? And I suppose when you're flying, it's a bit of a cheaty thing, isn't it? What's died down there? What have we got down here? Something else we probably don't need to worry about very much are wolves. Look, with red eyes. Oh, he wants to die. Let's uh, press, press, sorry, let's press F. Yeah. Number one, let's go down and give him a whack. There's not really anything that's pretty exciting, you know, is there? It's just a spider spawn. I'm not even bothered about it. Oh, we got some fireflies. We could actually capture these. We don't need any string. Don't really. Well, I don't need any wood. The jungle wood planks. No, not too interesting. No, okay. Don't think this is desperately interesting. A diamond. I'll take the fireflies. I think the fireflies have got some use. It's the only thing in there that would have any use or any interest whatsoever. Anyway, that's sort of interesting. Ah, oh, well, not really. Okay, next thing. Where else are we going to go to here? I don't know whether to go up or down. This is a bad place, I think. Because they've got all of these spiky things. And if you go into this rain, it hurts. I'm just seeing if there's anything of any interest down here. Oh yes, there's this a big tower which I guess is also protected. Oh no. Oh. Now this is an interesting sort of place. Let's go down here. I probably better get my some more space. And get my pickaxe out. This will be snow, so we could shovel it up, won't we? Pick up sometime. Can I 
break this. So it's a castle brick from the Twilight Forest. Well, it says I can, but it's going to take a long time. It seems to be harder than the obsidian, this stuff. 52%. <laughs> I'm just curious to see what's in here. Because you can see on the minimap, the castle is massive. Nearly there. So what do we have down here? I suppose there's a... Oh, they're not actually mobs. Well, these are. Oh, one of those magic mobs because it's pushing me around. Okay, let's go like this one. Let's start hitting them. So it gives you... <laughs> rare eclipse... I might as well just stand here, might I just get... Oops, he moves me around, of course. That one. He's getting, he's getting whacked a bit, so it's alright. Huh. I'm being quiet on to let's see if I can get rid of this guy. Have they dropped anything interesting except for XP? Not really very exciting, is it? He moves around a bit. <laughs> cool. Got him. What have we picked up? Nothing unduly exciting. What about these things? Is that a mob? Yes, it is. How much health has it got? Oh, not so much. Let's give you a whack. Another one. Okay, so now we get a door. Ooh, that's a whizzy door. Okay. So it's a sort of a temp temporary door. Blue ones. <laughs> well, I suppose I could spend a lot of time messing around in here, but I don't think I want to. There must be something interesting in here, and I don't know what to look for. So let's go and do a bit more exploring. Yes. The signpost on there. Can we break this stuff? A violet force field, no. That's some interesting music too. So, okay. I think you're gonna have to spend I'm just gonna spend a lot of time coming down. That's a little down here. Just doorways, huh? They're protected with purple force. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Let's get out of here. Flight does make it sort of quite easy, but so what are these things?
no idea. So now you get this poison effect when you're in, coming into these places as well. So, some Surtis Quartz. Oh! Might as well mine that up. Oops, crossed the wrong button, sorry. Don't forget zombies can't see us. And neither can creepers. Those charms are just wonderful. Oh, there he is. Still looking for bat wings, of course, because they're always good to have. I shouldn't really take more than one hit to kill a bat. <laughs> so, some black quartz or some brutes. So, what do I need to find is this live root stuff, don't I? Let's um, eat a bit. And I don't know what a live root looks like. What's this one? Thorns, brilliant. This is all canopy trees, isn't it? I know that one. And this is twilight oak wood. Oh, that's a freeze. Yeah. You know, I really don't know what I'm looking for. Some more interesting berries on here. What have we got in this one? Oh. Well, it looks like it's a... Uh, a troll bear. What's doing that to me? Nope. Tell you what. Let's attack that with a... Oh, that one. Ah, oh, okay, right. Now he's actually important to kill. We have to kill him. This one's a particularly difficult one because it's a blight. But he'll give me the book, and the book has got some important information in it. health has he got? I didn't notice. <laughs> 39, that's not too bad now. He's about to drop. And I got him with me. And I got a heart from him. Let's get rid of some of this stuff, of course. The book, the heart. And troll there, and a hat, and a helmet. What else have we got? Gold nuggets. Okay, also that's rubbish we picked up. I don't remember killing a pig, but we do get this book. What have we got over here? Some more. What is it about that place? <laughs> There's another, another one of those cobalt things. What it's called? So we've got this book. I shall eat the heart. And we'll have a look at the the notes on the notes on a highland. Now there is another one of these guys. That's that's weird. Now I'm not sure if he disappears because because I've got the book. my damage there, it was taking a little bit of damage. Oh, 
There's a lot of things here. What have we got here? Very calcite stone. Let's go and have a look above this this area. Nope. Right, let's have a quick look at this book. So it's an explorer's note damaged by acid. Okay. <laughs> there seems to be no way to protect myself from the toxic rainstorm surrounding this area. In in my belief excursions I've also encountered I also encountered another protection spell similar to others i have witnessed the spell to be connected to the toxic storm in some way further research to follow so supreme weather magic must be a result of unequaled weather magicians such as a person that would likely hide themselves in an extreme environment far away based on my logic i would expect to find such a person somewhere in the glacier perhaps in some sort of fortress there done ah okay so we found the glacier, I think. We found the fortress. So we've got to go and find the person. Right. But well, that's actually one of oh, two books. <laughs> so that's a task, I guess. But I don't think I need to spend too much more time in here. Let's just see if we can find a picture plan while we're, while we're down here. What's that thing? A wild boar. Now, is there anything in here that we actually want or need, or anything that we haven't seen in the overworld? The only thing I really want is a live wood, and I don't know where to get that. This is just standard oak, isn't it? And these are standard canopy trees. Those are mushrooms. That's beech trees, isn't it? Oh, birch trees. And I don't think these, these may apples have got any use, but that could be wrong. Ah, pitcher plant. A pitcher plant. Let's get. Oops, wrong one, sorry. Let's take that with us. Because that's the one that gives you water. Now that was a tip, and I can't remember who gave me that tip. I think it was Loon 508, or it might have been Sir Harry. Anyway, whichever one it was, thank you very much. What have we got here? <laughs> Mush glooms. Now there should be another one of those cobbles, because last time I came, he gave me a different text to read. And it was around about where, where the fortress was. So where's the fortress? Oh, well, let's go down a bit. <laughs> That's an Abyssalcraft mob, isn't it? One. What's it called? Oh, don't know, died too quickly. <laughs> so I'm just heading back slowly to the um, to the portal over there, 179 blocks away. So with a bit of luck we might see something else of interest other than these enormous mushrooms. And it might be quite light because I've got night vision on the thing so I'm just wondering whether that's causing the effects because the twilight forest should be dark. It should always be in twilight. Right. Let's trundle down in here. Let's drop into it and you come back again. Whisking you from the Twilight Forest. I think this doesn't take so long. Fortunately, it doesn't. Right, good. Well, so I shall show you the pitcher plant to start with. That's quite a neat. That's quite a neat thing. Let's put it down here. 
can plant it wherever you like so he'll do now all you have to do is take a bucket any bucket you like an empty one that is and i've got a bucket because i saw one oh there's two there i think i saw one by itself oh, there we go do you know getting blind to the part of these days so you right click this and you get a bucket of water just as simple as that And you can always click it again you get another one so that is very useful for automation of um batania so let's take it with us right i think that's it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any hints about the twilight forest please give them to me because i think it's possibly changed since the last time i was i played on it anyway until then bye for now